Hey friends, this is Brandon from This Is Tech Today, and we're going to compare the Pixel 2 XL before the Developer 2 preview, and then after the, the Developer 2 preview. If you're not familiar with what a Developer Preview is, it's a beta version of Android that will be released in the future. I'll have some links and instructions down below in the description. First of all, the big thing that I've been looking forward to is the audio recording quality when you're filming a video. So in this test, we'll be able to compare the pre and post Developer 2 update and see if the audio quality is any better. So let me turn on this fan. All right, check, check. Here's the pre-update Pixel 2 XL. Check, check. This is the post-update Pixel 2 XL. And then here's the normal microphone, the Sennheiser. So it looks like the audio quality from the video has been fixed. The audio quality from the video was one of the biggest things for me. When people asked me whether or not they should get the Pixel 2 XL, that was the one thing that was holding me back from suggesting it, and now it's fixed, so great. So one thing I noticed about the stock video app is that external microphones still do not work with it. Check one, two, check one, two. Is it this mic? Or is it this mic? The edge of the touch display has been fixed as well. If you didn't know about this issue on the old version, if you tapped on the edges, it wouldn't register it. You can slide from the edges and it would work fine, but tapping it just wouldn't work. On the Developer 2 preview, tapping it will register every single tap, and of course, swipes as well. If you're not sure what's actually happening with the saturation mode, here is me going through the different color modes. There's the natural, there's the boosted, and then there's the saturated mode. I still happen to like the way that the reds look on the saturated mode, but I think that overall the colors are just too saturated. It looks a bit cartoony. We still need to ask Google to calibrate the reds on the natural and boosted mode. So go ahead and put your feedback in. And you may notice this, that the navigation bar at the bottom is black on the pre-update and on the developer 2 preview, it's white. That should help out with the burn-in or as they like to say, differential aging. Unfortunately, the black crush is still there. It does progressively get worse as you go down to darker brightness levels, as you can see here. So great news, the Bluetooth microphone does work on this new update. What's the weather? I just popped it up there. Now, if you want to utilize the microphone on your Bluetooth headset so it works with the Google Assistant, go ahead and go to your settings and then click on search settings and just type in assist. It'll bring up a few options there and just click on assist invoice input. And then you'll see assist app as the first thing. Hit the gear icon. And then you're gonna go down to the bottom and you'll see Bluetooth headset. So make sure that's turned on. So it'll be highlighted as blue when it's on. One thing that I wanted to test out before because of the Bluetooth issue is whether or not the Google Translate feature on the Pixel Buds was truly an exclusive feature. When activating translation on a Bluetooth headset that's not the Pixel Buds, it'll just read and translate everything within the earbuds. It doesn't come out of the phone. So the Pixel Buds translation feature where you can talk into it and it speaks in another language out of your phone and then it's someone can talk in another language into your phone and it goes into your Pixel Buds, that whole thing is definitely exclusive to the Pixel Buds. Translate for me. Sure, opening Google Translate. Hello, how are you? Hola, ¿cómo estás? You may not know this, but on the Pixel 2 and 2XL, there is a chip called the Visual Core, and it hasn't been activated until now. At least it's activated in part. If you go into the developer options, you can activate what's called a HAL HDR Plus feature. So if you don't know how to get into the developer settings, here's how. Go into your settings, your gear icon, go down to the bottom and click on System, and then click on About Phone, and then hit the build number a few times until it says that you're a developer. Then enter in your PIN, and then you're now a developer. Now hit back, click on developer options, and just scroll down, and you'll be able to see right here that the camera HAL HDR feature, you can activate it. In order for it to actually activate, you have to reboot your phone. One thing that I noticed is that it does take pictures faster more often than it doesn't, if that makes sense. There were definitely quite a few times where the cameras were pretty much the same, but there were definitely other times where it was like half a second faster. One thing that's very interesting when I was going through this test, 
I noticed that the penguin, and yes, Team Penguin, was a little bit heavier than the Just Black one, and I just had to get a scale. And it's actually about four grams heavier than the Just Black version. I don't know why. Weird. So this is definitely a very hastily made video, so I apologize if it's not as well put together as my other videos. But if you found this video helpful, please help this small YouTuber out and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Go ahead and leave some comments down below on any other questions that you have, and I'd be happy to answer them. And let me know of any observations that you have. Thanks again for watching. This is Tech Today. Until next time.